Hey friends, this is Dolony TV. Good afternoon. Welcome back to a major day in Edmonton Oilers land. The Heritage Classic jersey has been revealed. We have made some cuts at camp. Well, one. And oh, well, also, we've got some speculation left over from yesterday's pregame with Bob Stoffer talking about the Oilers being forced to do something we've talked about quite a bit this fall a little sooner rather than later. As we get geared up, friends, thank you so much for being aboard for the ride. I want to say yesterday and on Sunday, thank you so much for tuning in. If you tuned in to the live stream and as if you're a new subscriber and this is your first video here on Dolany TV, welcome to this format as well. Uh, just as we get going again, friends, what I will say is if you are new to the channel and you want to consider hitting that subscribe button, that would be fine and dandy with me. Really appreciate it so as you can catch the live streams, the videos further and sooner than regular. All right, as we get loaded up here, friends, I don't want to tease you too much. Bob Stoffer on the City Ford face-off show last night talking about the Oilers and their roster crunch and the situation you see here trade soon. Simply, he was theorizing and asking more or less, well, are the Oilers going to be forced to make a trade sooner and, well, quicker in camp than we possibly thought, right? We've talked about the possibility of a trade happening during camp, but now Bob Stoffer saying, hold up, this might be coming a lot quicker than anyone thinks and will more than likely be happening more than anyone thinks. So as I theorized on the video on the weekend, it's about a 95% chance that the Oilers make a trade with either Lavoie or Nima Linen involved. That's just kind of where I'm at, kind of the information I'm getting fed myself. And then as well, if it's Lavoie staying on the team, then it's about 50-50 if Nima Linen has to go on waivers. But at current, right, it sounds like, and as you saw in Patrick's video, as you've seen in my videos this past weekend, it's Nima Linen and Lavoie that this all revolves around, but not necessarily those two guys having to go out the door. Camp yet to really get underway. Who knows what the roster battles might look like. Lavoie impressed last night. Sutter continues to impress. So end of the day is there's any possible multiple ways this could play out. And when it comes down to it for the Oilers, you got Bob Stoffer kind of sprinkling in there that this might happen sooner rather than later is a really interesting wrinkle into training camp. Okay, item number two. Brady Stonehouse has been assigned to the Ottawa Senators. He was a camp invite to the rookie tournament, held over and came into main camp with us, played last night. You know what? End of the day is I don't know what the expectations were were, were here for him, but it, uh, after all is said and done, I don't think there was anything wrong with how he played a camp. Obviously, a young guy still available to be signed. I do believe he's with the Ottawa Senator or Ottawa 67. Somebody can go out there and grab him. It'll probably be us if somebody doesn't grab him during the regular season because obviously that's a pretty premier talent to bring into your organization and uh, kind of give that much of a look to without having something down the road planned for in the organization. Might be a contracts thing, might be a reserve list thing. That's just why the others haven't yet. I don't know, I haven't read anything official, so we'll we'll see what goes on there. Just want to make mention of that. That's another cut, another junior cut. Boakey cut two days ago now, yesterday, whatever you're watching. Um, ooh, that, uh, that graphic is not fully formed, is it? Um, let's go over here and move this this way. The Heritage Classic jerseys were revealed today. The reason I am putting this last in the lineup this afternoon, you saw that amazing video from Patrick, getting down to Rogers Place, getting down to Ice District, getting into Ice District's authentic store and doing what we all could dream of doing, going down there and making a video of picking up his jersey. Obviously too, you might've saw an extra jersey in there. Patrick was kind enough to go out of his way and pick up my jersey today for me as well on good intel from, uh, uh, well, some sources that uh, you might want to pick them up now as opposed to later, I'll tell you that much. So if you get a chance, go on down to Rogers Place, go on down to Ice District sometime here in the next week and go pick up your jersey because, um, yeah, maybe in Southern Alberta you'll be able to find them, but I assume that what's going to happen with these jerseys as happened with the reverse retro in 21, they're going to be next to impossible to find, so find them now. That's what I'm going to tell you there. And as we get going, right, just to flash back to these jerseys, I didn't want to leave the graphic up too long. They're beautiful. 
I mean, everybody has gone out there and said their piece on these jerseys. I got nothing wrong to say. Not pictured here is the brown pants for the Oilers and the brown gloves are kind of pictured here, the leather coloring. I love it. I absolutely love these jerseys. I mean, when you think about hockey outdoors, when you think about watching the Edmonton Oilers outdoors and you're going to see these jerseys and uniform sets, I am absolutely going to be in love with it. I cannot wait. I actually might, to be honest with you. I can find a way to sneak up from up to Edmonton during a locker room sale sometime late in the year uh, without work uh, getting too upset that I'm taking a day off around uh, spring break up there. Uh, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to be trying to hunt down a pair of those pants, a pair of those socks, a pair of those gloves, the helmet, and uh, spending some money I really shouldn't. But at the end of the day to go rip around next year on the ODR in an entire uniform. That would be kind of sick, right? I think just uh, being able to go out there and get some footage of the uh, of the uniform in action myself, that'd be really, really nifty to be honest with you. Okay, as we transition out of the video tonight, friends, I just want to say again, thank you for tuning in to the preseason live streams. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit different of a look. I've got a golf appointment, I guess you could say, a little work thing at about one o'clock tomorrow so we're gonna have to go out and uh, take care of that and then we'll get to the live stream later tomorrow it'll probably be a fired up on the fly kind of deal it's a Vancouver Canucks game I do believe it is broadcast on TV so it might not be a bad one for me to skip I said five or six this preseason I might actually be skipping Friday night as well to be honest with you might have some plans there so I'll let you know, but we'll go from here tonight, friends. Enjoy. Happy Jersey Day. I'm up on out of here. Thanks for tuning in. You have a great night, okay?